Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Now today we're doing a tutorial on green screens. I got a lot of people asking me about green screens. How do I do my green screens? How do I get my keys so good? This is how I do it. I'm going to let you know every tip of the trade right now, right here, in your face. Now, if you're going to use a green screen, depends on what kind you use. You have paint green screens, you got fabric, and you got paper. All right, so if you're gonna use paper green screen, make sure that it's clean, free of tears, stains, cracks, stuff like that. Make sure there's no seams in it if you're using more than one piece. If you're using fabric, then you gotta make sure it's clean and free of wrinkles. Always wash it if it's washable fabric and iron it if you can so that it is smooth and pretty and sexy and clean. If you're using paint, of course, you just paint. Make sure you do it on a flat wall, it's easier to do. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever place your talent right in front of the green screen. You're not going to get a good key. You're going to end up with halos. You're going to end up with fuzz. You're going to end up with all kinds of stuff you don't want. You want it to look realistic? Make sure you keep your subject five to six feet or more away from the screen if possible. Also, if you're using a green screen, don't wear green. Okay? Also, don't wear khakis. They don't go good with green screen effects, okay? If you're using a blue screen, don't wear blue jeans or anything blue. Last but not least, if you got somebody who you put in the shot that has fuzzy hair, make sure they flat iron that funky stuff. Something, comb it, pull it back, wear a hat, or get somebody else to be in your green screen. Get somebody new, somebody without fuzzy, funky hair. Get your light right, now. When you shoot a green screen scene, make sure your light is right. You can't have a good green screen shot if your light's wrong, okay? Make sure that you light your green screen separately from the foreground. In other words, you gotta use lights, separate lights for your talent. Make sure that you light the lights you use for your talent. Do not use diffusers. And then use separate lights for the background. The reason why you do that, you don't want your colors bleeding together. You don't want to have any blending issues or creating halos and stuff like that. It's funky. It's not going to look good. It's going to look stank. Real damn stank. Okay? You can't have it. Don't want it. Don't do it. Blah. Now, when you shoot your scene, I know you like that interlaced mode so much. Looks so beautiful. When you're shooting in a green screen scene, shoot in progressive mode. All right? It just makes for cleaner edges. It makes everything look better. You can always change it to interlace in your video editing software program afterwards. So, Shoot in progressive mode. Last but not least, when you shoot your green screen scene, make sure you try to get it in as small a space as possible. See my arms are flailing around a lot right now because I'm trying to keep the scene tight. As a matter of fact, you should shoot in a four by three aspect ratio instead of 16 by nine if you can. Or turn your camcorder at a 90 degree angle and then you can just rotate it when you get it in the editing software program. Just try your best to get nothing in the shot, just the area that you need. If you need to flail your, your arms around a lot, then just make it wider. Do what you got to do, but only shoot the area that you need. Don't shoot the whole dang set when you're doing the green screen key. Just shoot the area that you need to shoot. Keep your lights right. Be looking pretty and beautiful like me. So, now that I'm done shooting the scene, I want to just give you an idea how I got my light set up for this shot. As you can see, I got light from my foreground here and I did not use the diffusers on there. I used the uh, reflection umbrella. And I got my chandelier leaning on my other light, but I had to get that bastard out of the way. And you see that that light is pointed at the green screen. Then I have another light with the soft diffuser, soft box kit pointed toward the green screen. And then I have my last light here, also with the reflector umbrella pointed toward the foreground of the talent. Now one light that I am missing that you should usually use is a hair light. A hair light really helps your key look great. Now 
my ceiling's too low for that, damn it. But you do what you can when you can. If I was in the studio doing this right now, I would definitely use my boom pole and my key light because I do have one with a diffuser on it. But like I said, I can't use it inside. Pobrecito. Now that I told you how to shoot your scene, how to light it, everything you need to do to get it right, even how to get that fuzzy hair person out of your shot, let's go ahead and take a look at how to get your clean key in Alice Studio. I know you've been waiting for this. Let's get into it. Now we're in Avid Studio. I went ahead and put a background into the bottom track and then I placed the green screen footage right on the track above it. Now one of the things I didn't do in this one is I didn't keep my shot as close as I wanted to but I did that on purpose to show you a little trick you can do just in case you don't get it as close as you want it. So I'm going to right click on the green screen footage and I'm going to go to open effects editor. First I'm going to go to keyers and then studio chroma key. Now it automatically places the green screen on anything green. It defaults to a green. You can change it in here to a blue if you need to. Now I'm going to change this to media and tracks below so that you can see the background. Now I do have a little bit of a halo around my subject, not too much of one, but once again, I did that so I can show you that you can adjust your settings. If you bring down the softness on any halos, it'll take most of it out. Then if you wanna play around with the other things, you can. Now the next thing we need to do is get all this stuff out of the shot. Like I said, I wanna show you a little trick on that. You go to 2D, 3D, and then go to 3D Editor. Go ahead and go to Cropping. Anything on the left, you can crop that right out. Just go on. And on the right, you can crop that out too. Perfect key. Looks great in the background. Now you can see I didn't get all my subject on here, so there's some other things you can do if you wish to do so. You can go to size, and you can size your talent up so he fits perfectly. Now you don't have to worry about the fact that you couldn't see the feet on there. Just size that right in. If you needed to, you could change the position. You can move your talent over if you wanted them over on that side. You can move them back. So you could do all of this with the 3D Editor GPU. 2D Editor Advanced can do the same type of stuff. So it's great to go ahead and use these to get a good clean key in Avid Studio. You click OK. And it's a wrap. It's done.